All right, good. Still barely morning, y'all. Uh, pretty late start today. Like I said, I was staying with some folks. They lived uh, pretty far away from the trail, so it took me a bit to get back, and I was in no rush to leave because, well, air conditioning and good food and kind people. Really tough to leave, uh, you know, that situation. But I'm back on trail, and uh, should have about three days to Roosevelt. It looks like a fairly tough section coming up through the Superstition Mountains. A um, little bit of water, but it looks like there's enough water, but I kind of get trapped again to go in certain miles or I'm going to be carrying a lot of water. So I'm uh, probably just going to try to stay with the water and just get into town. Um, you know, three days still, but might take me a bit. And it is hot today. I don't know if you can see the sweat already dripping down. I haven't even gone that far. And it's warm. I'm supposed to get up to like up in the 90s today, low 90s, and I think actually high 90s tomorrow. So I don't know, looking forward to that. Tomorrow might be a uh, hopefully find some shade in the middle of the day and siesta and then hike later but probably should do that today too but i got a late start so i don't know i'll try and make some miles at least but yeah it is quite warm but you know it's the way hiking goes sometimes so uh, i guess uh i'll see y'all in a bit i should be hitting mile 300 up here shortly so i'll probably see y'all then so peace well y'all i just hit it uh where is it mile 300 again i had to make one for myself uh, no big deal which i don't know sometimes i make my own and then walk up on one that somebody else made but i haven't seen one. Oh, it's about break time it's hot i'm gonna siesta a bit for sure getting some shade so i'll oh, see y'all after that later what's going on y'all um got in a camp here i only did like 10 miles today a uh, pretty short day you know i started late and i pretty much started like right in the heat of the day so i just kind of siesta and laid down and waited until the heat let up and then uh got to here oh, sorry um i maybe could have gone a bit farther but there's not water for a while and i don't really want to dry camp um so i'm gonna camp here uh there's water source nearby decent campsites and just kind of don't want to risk you know losing a nice thing um got a pretty big climb tomorrow uh i think i just go like straight up that um it's pretty steep but i think uh i don't know i think i'm gonna get up at like four in the morning try and start night hiking it get a sunrise at the top try and beat um try and you know get ahead of some of the heat and then uh with the higher altitude hopefully it won't be quite as hot and if it is well then i can just siesta and not have to worry about it too much because i'll still have gotten some miles done so um yeah i think that's that's gonna be the plan um probably gonna, yeah i'm just gonna set up camp have some dinner it's mac and cheese night i'm pretty pumped uh, um i got uh it's like a backpacker's pantry mac and cheese so little bit different than what I normally got so hopefully it's still just as good uh, other than that it's pretty much it um yeah yeah today's gonna be uh pretty rough uh actually the next two days are gonna be rough but um uh, I'm not too concerned about it because these will actually this is actually my last stretch on the AZT heading northbound after this stretch um, I'm going to get off the AZT, I'm going to head out to San Diego, take a little bit of a break, visit some folks, and then, um, yeah, and then I'll be starting the PCT shortly, uh, after that, so, uh, you know, if you haven't realized, I do always post these videos on quite a bit of delay, so, um, this will actually be, depending on when this gets posted, this will be probably less than a week, um, before I actually start, so, that's exciting, uh, two more days, on the AZT, 
and then a lot more days on the PCT, and then coming back in a lot more days on the AZTs. But for now, I am pretty excited to get a break. Um, you know, I want to go see see some friends and um, actually hike with some people, you know, like a little bit more populated trail. I uh, kind of lost the group I was with because I started a little bit later than they did, you know, took a zero and whatever. Um, but hopefully I can catch up to them. Um, you know, with an early start, which knowing them, they'll probably do the same, but that's, you know, some different, different problems, two more days of hiking and, uh, just knowing that I'm close, kind of like wearing on me a little bit. I don't know if I should say wearing on me, but it's kind of like, just want to get there, you know? Um, so that's what I got going on. See y'all not right away in the morning. Hopefully when I wake up, hopefully I do actually like get up at four you know, get ready, get going, and not, like, wait until 9 o'clock like I normally do and then only have two hours to really hike, and I won't even be at the next water source at that point. So I'm going to try and get up earlier tomorrow. Oh, it's going to suck. I hate getting up early. Anyway, uh, I'm rambling. I'll see you all in the morning. Peace. Well, good morning, y'all. So uh, I did. I didn't wake up at 4. Like I said, I was going to. I changed my mind. Got up at 5. Um... So, I just, I think I beat the sun coming up, uh, at least definitely down this canyon. Still, I don't have the sun beating on me, but uh, it's already getting warm. <laughs> I, uh, you know, got a nice little breeze blowing through here, so it's not horrible, but it's definitely going to be pretty hot today again. So, uh, yeah, you know, hopefully, well, not hopefully, I'm going to get to the top before it gets super hot, get some water, and then siesta up on the top somewhere. Um, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. It's going to be hot. Got to adapt. But today's supposed to be hotter than yesterday, um, so I'm hoping to, uh, get somewhere comfortable by about 11 shouldn't be too much of a problem i got hiking about 6 30 and uh yeah it's a beautiful day though looks like there might be a few clouds in the sky which will be nice if they decide to block the sun i don't know how much of a chance that's gonna happen but you know we can dream so i'll uh See y'all later, that's how the morning's going. Peace. So, I just got up and over the big climb of the day, and uh, it was definitely no joke. Like, I am, I'm tired, but check out this view on the other side. Whew. And, uh, since I climbed, I think like 3,000 feet, <clears throat> it's uh, quite a bit cooler. It's definitely a little bit of a bite to the wind uh, up here versus down the bottom uh if you didn't know about every thousand feet that you climb it uh the temperatures drops on average about four degrees so it'll be about roughly 12 degrees cooler up here than it was down in the valley where i was <clears throat> which is going to be nice it'll still be hot it'll be in the 80s for sure um but it won't be you know almost 100 which is definitely nice something to look forward to probably still gonna take a siesta because well i woke up at five and why not it's hiking i can do what i want so ah oh, damn ah oh, this view is so good this is well not the trees and this is that's that makes a climb worth it that's uh so pretty all right well i'll see y'all later what's up y'all just finished up my siesta just kind of sat around didn't hike for like two hours but i was worried that i would have to sit there for even longer because it has been pretty hot lately and uh look at what i have been blessed with oh clouds i've never been so happy to see them it doesn't even really look like rain so pretty excited about that so it should be a nice cool hike well not cool it's still hot but at least not 
getting blasted by the sun for the rest of the hike. Oh, so I'm excited for the afternoon. Peace. Uh, check out this view. This is something else. The only bad thing is that the trail goes all the way down to the bottom and then all the way up not to the top but somewhere up there probably i don't know exactly where but this same elevation and it does it in like less than two miles pretty much straight shot so just going down tonight should be fun all right y'all i got into camp uh, a little bit ago and uh sitting here on my sleeping pad just enjoying this uh little evening can't really see the sunset but hopefully it'll be a decent night. I'm currently getting swarmed by mosquitoes, um, which I shouldn't say swarm. There's like 10 of them around me. I think I've killed 10 already though. Um, which remember trail karma is important and you shouldn't kill bugs unless they're mosquitoes. Kill all of them. Bring that trail karma up. They're evil creatures. They spread diseases. They're like, they're just like the worst things in the world. And I hate them. I, I have, there's one, bam, got it, hate mosquitoes, um, but lately they've been out and then they kind of go away, uh, once, uh, you know, once it's nightfall and, and, uh, you know, the sun's not out and whatever, it gets a little colder, I think, and then they go and hide, oh, another one, no, that one flew off, um, yes, yeah, so it's really annoying, that, uh, that walk down, that, or the, I guess the, climb the decline decline i don't know what to call it but the uh yeah the hike down into this little canyon was uh not that fun um <laughs> if you can you know guess you know going down 800 feet and about three quarters of a mile um it uh yeah the footing was very very uh not good you know it's just a lot of loose rocks and stuff so slid a couple times i didn't fall uh, so that was fortunate, but you know, the uphill tomorrow is probably going to be a lot worse. Um, my view on it is on those like uneven, you know, unstable footing is that if I'm going downhill, at least if I fall, I make progress down the trail. If I'm going uphill and I fall. Well, there just went, uh, you know, a couple steps of progress, but every step is important. Oh, uh, they're everywhere right now. This is a nightmare. Um, didn't bring bug spray because I didn't think they'd be out yet. Oh, the, there's like six of them. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get to uh, killing these things. Um, tomorrow I should be in Roosevelt. Tomorrow's my last day on the AZT for a while. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then uh, I'll, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll see y'all uh, tomorrow morning, bright and early. Uh, I'm probably going to try and get into town early. So I'll be up, you know, probably the same time as yesterday around 5 hit trail right at first light and uh get these last few miles done so i'm pretty excited so uh see y'all tomorrow oh what am i doing good morning y'all if you can't tell by my the sweat and otherwise out of breath and tiredness uh, i just finished that climb uh up out of that <coughs> little valley it uh it was pretty rough you know no climb is ever as bad as you think it's gonna be but uh yeah, luckily it was just short, so got it over with. Um, I can see, I don't know why I turned all the way, Roosevelt Lake, right out in the distance, just the edge of it. It's all kind of hidden by some hills, a big portion of it, but it is nice to be able to see. It's bugs on me, sorry. Nice to be able to see, you know, kind of the end goal of the day. Great views, like always. I swear. This trail is just nothing but great views. Like, you know, I am a little excited to be off trail for a bit, but I'm also gonna miss this trail like crazy because it's just so, so beautiful. Every, you know, every climb, there's never, never done a climb that didn't end up being very much worth it with the views. So yeah, definitely gonna be a little sad getting off the trail for a bit. But going to another beautiful trail, so can't really complain just too much. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably see y'all right before I get into town is like a little closer. But there's, uh, 
yeah, I don't think there's going to be much in between here and there unless I just see like some really amazing view, maybe like Roosevelt Lake. I'm sure I'll be able to see like the whole thing coming up. But uh, yeah, so till later. Well, y'all, just took my last steps on the Arizona Trail for quite a while. Walking into Roosevelt Lake, gonna check out the marina, see if they got any food or drinks, a restroom. Um, but, you know, I'm feeling good. I'm, uh, feel satisfied with, like, how many miles I got done on trail. Pretty pumped about that. And, uh, I'm excited to go and hit another trail and... You know, hopefully all the people who watch me on the AZT will come over and watch me on the PCT. So, uh, yeah, that being said, I'll, uh, I don't know when my next video will post. You know, it's, uh, I haven't really researched all the stops on the PCT yet, but I'm sure it'll be somewhat soon. Um, yeah, so, uh, to another trail, to another state. Until then, peace.